Welcome to the latest episode of the end of month market update. February was a brilliant month, wasn't it, Mr. Murray? Absolutely. Well, where do we start? February activity levels were much higher than January, guys. We did see a lot more success rate under the hammer. We broke up, I think it was 47 deals in the end, Diego. But how did you find it? I know it wasn't easy, but man, the results are short. Well, look, let's quickly talk about Friday night auctions, right? We had a very good night. Two sold under the hammer, one went under contract within an hour, and then our two properties we are now negotiating offers. So the process still worked, but today we've got Aaron Davis, the auctioneer, and he needs no no introductions. So tell us what you saw in February. Well, what we saw was a, a moderating in the market and it's gone from a seller's market and it's transitioning into a buyer's market with stock numbers increasing by about 40%. And Todd and I were having a conversation before about having courageous conversations with buyers and sellers, but the market's still there. And when you're listing and selling with real estate professionals, people are selling, people are buying. But there's a lot of people looking for excuses. And in this marketplace, it's just about making good choices, about having those courageous conversations and about creating a marketplace for property. That's correct, as simple as that. The buyers are that, David, oh, for Hyundai. So it's just- they got uh, choice. They got choice and uh, you know they want to find the best property at the best price. Our job is to get them to pay more, of course, but the buyers are there and Friday was a testament. We had an auction, three bidders, and within 30 seconds, we were 400 grand fr from where we started the bidding. So the buyers are there, there is no excuse. They yet. are, and, but also the market's tempered. There's plenty of examples that I've had recently. It used to be that rule of thumb, eh, Todd, when it used to be 2,000 a square meter for some of the subdividable land. Now I've had plenty of examples in February that have sold in that 14, 1,500 a square meter circa. So certainly those headwinds are there in the development and selling land space because of all the uncertainty, but you know, the market moves on. And as we say, markets always move faster than people. Absolutely. The challenges the buyers are facing in the market has been primarily obtaining suitable finance, but we are seeing that sort of ease a bit and numbers of open homes and auction attendees are growing. Diego, are you seeing that? Well, look, I'm seeing that the buyers are struggling to get finance, but if you work with a good broker, and by the way, next month we'll have a special guest talking about that. If you work with a good broker, you'll still be able to get your finance. It just takes a little bit longer and then and you might not get as much money as you could have got maybe a few months back. But hey, look, testament, the buyers are there, the finance is available. Yes, it's taking longer, but hey, like, like all good things, they take time. Of course, and if and if buyers have good finances, they have a deposit, they go to the bank where before they could get finance in five, 10 days, there's got to be a little bit more prep now, right? The choices are there. Get your ducks lined up and actually talk back phone me up the other day and said, is it a buyer's market? I said, it's a cash buyer's market, absolutely. Isn't it ironic though, in a seller's market, right, the buyers are everywhere falling over themselves and now it's a buyer's market and they're not taking advantage of that as they should be. But anyway, yeah. let's see what happens in March. I think it's going to be a brilliant month. So let's see what happens. We'll talk again in a month and we'll have a special guest, a mortgage broker with us, telling us what's happening in that sort of um, side of the world. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. Ciao. Go well.